good day and thank you for watching i'm ryan and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to share with you some essential commands on selecting and inputting data on microsoft excel with my screen reader nvda or non-visual desktop access if you are new to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button as well as the like and share buttons before i demonstrate the steps and the hotkeys in selecting a range of cells, let me discuss to you the importance of this task or of this activity. Now, if you remember, when you were able to use a word processor like uh, the Microsoft Word, selecting a text or a group of text is a prerequisite before we can make changes on the text. Now, that is also true in Microsoft Excel. However, in Excel, Unlike in Microsoft Word, that when we type on the, the word or the, the document, it's actually a general area. But in Excel, every information or every datum that we input goes to a cell. So that's the major difference. So selecting a range of cells is very, very important. To begin, I have already launched Microsoft Excel and the active cell is A1 as expected. So here to demonstrate the steps on selecting a range of cells or a group of cells. So for example, I'm going to select cells A1 to E1. First is I need to Make sure that I'm on the, the, the that the active cell is on cell A1, and I can press Insert plus Tab or Caps Lock plus Tab to verify. Cell A1. So I'm now on cell A1. That's for sure. Now I'm going to hold down the Shift key to begin the selection. And since I want to reach E1, which is four cells away from A1, I need to press the right arrow key four times. The one through P1, the one through C, the one through D1, the one through E1 selected row one column one. Now every time I press the right arrow key, NVDA reports the cells that are being selected. However, I can still verify it by pressing the insert plus tab or caps lock plus tab. The one through E1 cell selected row one column one. Now I'm sure that the selected cells are cells A1 to E1. With this selection, the cells are now ready for any changes. For example, formatting changes like merging these cells and many more, which I will be covering in the succeeding videos. Now, this point, I want to unselect these cells. And there are several ways to do that. One is to press any arrow key. So I, at this point, I will just be pressing right arrow. B1. So pressing right arrow brings me to B1, which is a cell away from my my uh, uh, my reference cell or my first cell, which was cell A1. Another way to unselect a range of cells is to activate the go to command. So. At this point, I'd like to go to cell J27. So I'll press Control plus G. Go to dialog, go to reference, and hold on. And I'll J type J27 and press Enter. In Microsoft Excel put one, sheet one table, J27. Now the active cell has shifted to J27. Now this juncture, I'd like to select column J or the entire column which is column J to do that the hot key is simply the combination key of control plus spacebar so I'll press control and then spacebar for control plus spacebar J1 through J1 million 48,576 selected row 1 through 1 million 48,576 column 10 space now NVDA reported that I have selected cells J1 to J1 million 
400,000 and more. So that means I have selected the entire column. Now, a way to remember this hotkey is to remember that the word control begins with letter C and the word column begins with letter C also. So the hotkey to select the entire column is to press control plus key. Now I want to unselect by pressing the left arrow. I now that brings me to I-27 which is a cell away uh, from J-27 or just the left cell of J-27. Now I decided to select the entire row. To do this, the hotkey is to press shift and spacebar or shift plus spacebar. But 27 through XFD 27 selected row 27 column 1 space. So NVDA said that I have selected row 27 which begins from A27 through XFD27. Now I would like to go to cell C3 and I can do that quickly by activating the go to command. Control plus G. Go to dialog, go to reference, edit alt RP1. And I'll type C3. C3. Microsoft Excel book one, sheet one table, C3. The active cell is now C3. Now I would like to select cells C3 to G3. So I'm going to do, to hold down the shift key again and move until I reach G3. C3 through C3 C3 through F3, C3 through G3, selected row 3, column 3. Now from this, I have decided that I will also select three rows below uh, row 3. So I'm going to press a down arrow key while still holding down the shift key. And I'm going to press the, arrow, uh, the down arrow key three times. C3 through G4, selected row 3 through 4, column C3 through G5, selected row 3 through C3 through G6, selected row 3 through 6, column 3. So I have reached G cell G6, which is in row 6. Now to check the selected cells, I'm going to verify it by pressing insert plus tab or caps lock plus tab. C3 through G6 cell selected row 3 through 6, column 3. Now NVDA said that I have selected cells C3 to G6. Now this means that I have not only selected C3, D3 and uh, and, and G6 to G6 but I have also selected cells below C3 which are cells C4, C5 and C6 and also cells D, uh, D3, D4, D5, D6 F3, F, E3, E4, E5, E6 and also cells F3, F4, F5, F6 and finally cells G3, G4, G5 and G6 now this is a quick way on selecting a group or a range of cells that are in contact with one another. Now with this selection, I can make changes to this group of cells. At this point, I'd like to go back to cell A1. And that can be done quickly by pressing Ctrl plus A1. Now here, I'm going to type names on cells a1 to A4. So here I'm going to type Matthew on cell A1. At e, T, H, e, w. And if I press enter, Q, sheet one table, two. notice that the active cell is now A2, which is the cell below A1. So pressing enter moves the, the insertion point to the next cell below the previous active cell. Now on cell A2, I'm going to type Mark. A -R -K. And again, I'll press enter. Mark. Sheet one table, three. I'm now on A3. And I'll type Ed U K E. U space. And I'll press enter. Sheet one table, four. I'm now on cell A4. And I'm going to type the word John. H N. H N space. 
and I would like to check if I have typed or inputted the right information by the way I am on the activity on inputting data so I'm going to press up arrow so on A3 I have looked now let's continue to check I press up arrow so on A2 we have Mark Matthew A1 and on A1 we have Matthew now if I press the delete key let's check what happens I'll verify it by pressing the insert plus tab or caps lock plus tab command cell A1 so by pressing the delete key I have deleted the data or the information that I have just inputted on cell A1 however my active cell is still A1 so deleting a data on a specific cell can be done by just pressing or by just moving to that cell and making it active and pressing the delete key now deleting a range of cells or data which are on a range of cells first thing that we should do is to select that range of cells now for in this case i would like to delete the information i typed on cells a2 to a4 so i go to a2 and hold down the shift key then i'll press the down arrow until I reach a two mark through a three, a two mark through a four. John selected row two through four, column one. So, uh, and we they reported that I have just selected cells a two to a four, which has, uh, which have, the information of, of Mark, Luke, and John. So since I have already selected, I can press the delete key, and we will check what will happen. So I'll check what a three, happens a on a2 so a2 a2 has, has no more information on it as well as a4. a3 and a4 so that's it that's how to delete data that we just input on uh, given cells i'm going to press control plus home to go back to cell a1 with this i hope you learned something we just tackled selecting a range of cells, inputting information or data, as well as deleting data. Thank you and I wish to see you on my next video. Until then, God bless us all.